What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you what I consider to be the ultimate cold email template. Um, and I say this because I have used it to great effect for many different campaigns that I've run. And I've found that this is kind of like the perfect template for writing cold emails. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. Um, and if you want to flesh it out and make it more robust, you can do that as well. However, this is the basic of the basic um, that's going to get you responses from cold emails. So uh, this hi there, you know, obviously you don't have to write hi there. You can write hello or good day or whatever. Um, in my personal experience, I found that it's best to be informal, but your mileage may vary. And obviously it depends on who you're contacting. My name is your name. Um, introduce yourself, right? People want to know who they're talking to and obviously what company they're with. So just get that right out of the way right off the bat, okay? And then the, the next thing, like the next sentence that I recommend that you write is that you tell people who you are and also why you're contacting them. Um, so the best way that I like to do that is kind of a trick that I learned from, you know, the startup world is where they would say like, okay, when you're trying to think of an idea for a startup, say that you're Uber for refrigerators, you know what I mean? Or we're Google for TVs. Bad examples, but you get the idea. Um, so you can say here, think of us like whatever famous company, but with more, you know, reasons why you're better than them. So let's say you're selling um, social media uh, management software, right? You could say, think of us like Hootsuite, but with more features, um, you know, cheaper and with better analytics, for example, right? Let's say you're selling uh, insurance, for example. You're not going to say, think of us like blah, blah, blah. You would say, I'm with, I don't know, what's an insurance company? Blue Cross, um, the number one insurance company in the United States, whatever. You know what I mean? Some Some reason why you guys are good. Uh, and then in this next paragraph, you're going to want to say why you're contacting them and, and how much everything costs. Now, obviously, it depends on whatever your offering is, right? In general, the these are like business to business uh, sales right here. So that's why they kind of look like this, because obviously you're not going to um, cold email random individuals trying to sell them, you know, whatever bags or clothes or something like that. I guess you could, but in general, when people think cold emails, they're thinking business to business. At least I do. Um, and then, like I said, right off the bat, you want to give them the price. My personal recommendation. Uh, I think when you give the price right off the bat, you immediately weed out people who are broke and don't have any money and are not going to pay for it or who don't see the value in it. Um, you know, these are cold emails. You're not trying to convert every single person you send the email to. You're trying to deliver as much concise information as you can so that the people who are interested don't have to spend a lot of time reading this email to figure out what it is you do and if they want to contact you, you know, respond to your email. Um, so give them the price per month or per week or whatever it is. Uh, and I like to give them a range, right? So let's say we're going with the social media tool again. Our plans range from $39 to $250, although most people find the, you know, sh sh uh, lower price adequate. Um, in general, like they've done psychological studies, when you give a price range, uh, you get better results, right? So not only do you get better results, but, but your the buyer will tend to gravitate towards the lower end of the range, just because compared to the higher end, it'll seem like a better deal even if it's more than they were considering spending in the first place. So this doesn't have to be $39, it could be $149, and then you make this one $799. Whatever, play with the prices, test it out. And then, you know, you offhand, like leave an offhand comment here recommending the initial plan. Uh, not only that, but you get additional benefit to try us out with no obligation. Um, so using the social media tool example again, um, free trials tend to work pretty well. Uh, not only that, you get a three-day, two-week, one-week free trial, whatever, with no obligation or with no credit card required or with no upfront payment. Um, 
Basically, you just want to make it seem like you're, they're getting a very good deal. And then call to action. Basically, you say to see all of our current deals and learn more, more, blah, learn more about why uh, I would pick a very high number here. Number of professionals trust our company. Just head to the URL that you want to send them to. Um, so what does this mean? Okay, let's say you were using the, the previous example again. Learn more about why 160,000 professionals trust our company for their social media needs. Just go to our tracking URL. So the reason you want to do that is you want to establish what's called social proof. I'm sure you guys know what that is, but basically it means that you're showing that other people already trust you and like you and are paying you for something. So, you know, new buyer who's never heard of us, it's okay if you trust us as well because all these other people trust us. Um, and then obviously, you know, ideally you would put a unique URL in here so you can track the effectiveness of this campaign. If you just send them to your homepage, that's going to kind of defeat the purpose of this. Um, what I like to do is I like to send them straight to the pricing page with a track, a specific you know tracker on the URL, so you can track you know wherever the source of leads came from, for example. Um, but the reason I like to send them to the pricing page is because w normally on on um, you know websites that are selling a service to another business, for example. Uh, the pricing page is just one step away from the order form. So if they want to buy, you're making it very easy for them because they're literally right there and all they have to do is click the button. Um, and then finally, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at whatever you know email address it is. Although if you sent them an email, they probably have your email address anyway, but still I think it's just a good idea to do this. Once again, just because it removes that additional step from what people have to do because at the end of the day people are lazy and on the computer you want to I don't know it's just kind of a general vibe when you use the computer you want to be as efficient as possible and then have a nice day you know whatever bless you have a great weekend whatever you want to write um, and then finally one other thing that you can uh, that you can insert in here which is optional is like references or articles that have been written about you. Um, so like I know one company, they raised a bunch of money on Kickstarter. So they would write, you know, to we just raised a bunch of money on Kickstarter. To view our, to see our Kickstarter, go to kickstarter.com slash blah, blah, blah. If you don't have that, um, you're going to need something. Like the simplest thing is to just have a blog on your website and spend, you know, a few hours or a day or a little bit of money to get somebody to write some articles for you, which you can find on Fiverr. Um, so for example, uh, we also have a very popular blog about industry. You can view some of our more popular articles here. One, two, three, four. Now, um, this is good and bad, okay? It's good because you're establishing additional credibility, but it's bad because these links are going to take them away from the pricing page, which is really where we want to send them. Um, but ideally, your blog will be on your website, and in your blog, you know, in the articles, you'll have uh, carefully positioned links that will take people to the pricing page and will, once again, make it easy for them to purchase. Um, if you don't have a website, you know, you can literally set up a blog on Medium or on, you know, any of the other blogging sites that are out there, which I highly recommend that you do, because in my experience, having these blog articles very makes it much easier to um, get people to convert, especially from a cold email where they don't know who you are, they never heard of you before, contacting them out of the blue. So, like, it's not going to kill you to have a couple articles that make it seem like you know what you're doing. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment and like and subscribe. And yeah, tell me how wonderful I am. Peace.